So this is going to be a video for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my readings. Also, if you would like to um, book a personal session, that information is always listed below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. You can follow me at Mystical Crystal Tarot on Instagram and Mystical Crystal on Twitter if you're into daily horoscopes or if you just want to follow me for updates, okay? All right, Taurus. What's the energy around them? Okay, first card we have is the moon card in reverse. Interesting that this is the first card. Um, so this is the energy of somebody's true nature being exposed. This is like who they are to the core of being brought to the surface after kind of being in the space of not really knowing how somebody may have felt or how they may have, um, yeah, how they may have been harboring certain feelings, to be honest. Um, what else? Also with the moon card in reverse, this is you coming out of a space of you being kind of in this disillusion energy, um, or feeling as if things are just not clear to you. But yeah, this is definitely like somebody's deception being exposed. Somebody's like true nature being exposed here. Okay. Um, some of you also now, hmm. Some of you also may be realizing where you may have like slight mental illness or you may have known that you had mental illness and like this is you taking care of it. So this could be you going to a therapist finally after realizing that you may have like really mainly issues at night. Um, I'm really speaking to like my people out there who have like issues at night with night terrors or like what is it called when you recall a lot of memories from your childhood and your dreams, something like that. Um, yeah. And then some of you could just be feeling very overwhelmed by problems and like your concerns. It may not even be problems necessarily. It's just you having certain concerns here or like feeling paranoid about the people around you or like feeling like you're on the edge or something. Also, okay, with this, if you guys are like creative individuals or you work like a non-traditional job, this could also be like kind of a creative block in a sense. But okay, the next card that we also have is ego. And this card says the illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So with this card, there's a need for you guys to make sure that you're not tapping into your ego in a way where it's toxic. Now, our ego is a part of us. OK, it is. We can't, you know, deny our ego 100 percent. That's what makes us. That's our personality. Ego is our personality. But there is a such thing as being egotistical, <laughs> where it's like being materialistic or being of the ego and not understanding that we're not just our ego we're multiple things we're spirit we're all these things now with this yeah there's a need for you to make sure that you're not kind of uh grasping onto materialistic ways of being also making sure you don't have people around you who are egotistical okay you may be realizing that somebody is this way this could be like a Leo around you or again, like I said, you just realizing overall that someone around you just has like an ego trip issue. This could be like a boss, someone around you. But yeah, this is also speaking to your confidence. You guys may be realizing that you're not as confident as you need to be, especially when it comes to putting yourself out there and um, like being an entrepreneur or like going in a new direction in career or even in terms of love. So this is you guys having to shift that. OK, we also have the Ten of Springs in reverse. So this is the energy of you like trying to drop the energy of burdens being on your back. This is like almost you struggling, though, to you get to a point to where you're like just too overwhelmed. 
Um, what else? Some of you also may have like a lot of tasks that you've been like kind of putting off for a little bit too long. So this time frame or this reading, if you watching this right now, <laughs> there's a need for you to handle that to do list. Take care of those responsibilities before it becomes an overload of things that you, you know, haven't worked on. This could be like email pile up or like avoiding working on something specifically or like, you know, doing per paperwork for something that it becomes a bigger issue. Also, this with this card, you guys need to make sure you stop saying yes to like somebody who's constantly a burden to you, basically. Stop allowing yourself to keep giving energy to things that are constantly a burden. Now we have unity. So it says do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you and a spiritually minded community. So this would be the Hierophant um, in the regular tarot. I can already tell from like the way that the description is. So with the Hierophant being here, um, yeah, there's a need for you to, for one, This time frame, look at how you guys can take certain burdens off of the relationship. And for some of you, what may happen is like somebody's true nature gets exposed to you about them being egotistical um, and, you know, hard to deal with where you drop that burden because you feel like it's just not conducive for the relationship. For others of you, this is like, you know, leaving a job or making strides to leave a job where somebody is egotistical and you feel like for some reason you're just not meshing well with them okay some of you also you may be finding yourself getting more and more in tune with spirituality or your religious beliefs or whatever your beliefs may be and this is really helping carry you through some of you may be even considering possibly marrying someone you may have been with long term now, with the King of Winter, this is speaking to um, you guys having ultimate clarity. There also may be an air sign of significance. So this could be uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But yeah, you guys may be clearing the air with somebody who you may be married to, but you guys may have been separated for a while. And this is you guys finally having that conversation on whether or not you guys are going to get a divorce or if you guys are going to stay together. Others of you with this king of winter, um, this is you speaking your truth to somebody who you may have been dating. What's this truth? Yeah, this could be you guys either speaking your truth or acknowledging your truth. And seeing exactly the situation, seeing the situation for exactly what it is and making a decision to, like I said, get yourself out of the stuck energy after a change in perspective happens. Now, last card we have is the five of winter. So there may be some sort of brutal argument you guys have with the air sign, Leo, possibly water sign a little bit. It may get kind of vicious. This could be like um friend, family member, whoever. Now, what this argument may be about. is going to be different for each and every one of you, but I see you guys definitely um, withdrawing your energy from certain people now what is the urgent message i need to pass on to my taurus and we have my feelings are valid and this says acknowledge your emotions as they come to pass spend time with them and investigate where these feelings are coming from Understand that you're not your emotions, that they don't define who you are, and you have the power to both respect and move beyond them, which is true, okay? Your feelings are valid, yes, but feelings just aren't the best judgment of, like, major decisions in our lives, especially when it requires more of, like, logic than necessary, necessarily feelings. So, yes, your feelings are valid. You can validate your feelings, by acknowledging them and not pushing them to the side, but also respecting that your decisions should not be defined by how you feel per se. It should be a mixture of how you feel and, and what's logically right. But for the most part, it, it should mostly be logic. 
Okay. And don't let emotions move you so much so that it makes you make emotionally charged decisions. That's another thing. But this is what I see. I hope that you did take something from this video. If you did, thumbs the video up, subscribe, check out the description box if you want a personal. And I will see you in the next one.